few countries are upgrading their current fighter jets to engage against their enemies. These upcoming new variant fighters are still under development and will take to the skies in the foreseeable future. From reports, these new variants are undergoing major upgrades, some of which are equipped with new radars and sensors, powerful engines and advanced weaponry. So today, let's have a look at these new variant fighters. So firstly, we have the SU-35SM, which is an improved version of the single-seat SU-35S multi-role fighter. A new radar system will give greater situational awareness, new engines will improve the flying envelope while expanding the battle radius, a new electronic warfare suite, new high-speed communications, and perhaps a new high-precision weapon will be included in the aircraft. The aircraft may carry out frontline air defense and strike missions, as well as work alongside unmanned combat vehicles like Sukhoi's Akotnik B. Some of the sophisticated technologies developed for the Su-57 stealth fighter will be used on the Su-35SM. The Su-35SM might take to the skies as early as 2021 with first operational capability expected by 2025. Next, we have the Su-30SM2, which is an improved version of the twin-seat Su-30SM multi-role fighter jet of the Russian Air Force. The aircraft will be equipped with the Urbis radar system, AL-41F1S engines with thrust vectoring control, which will improve the flying envelope while expanding the combat radius. It will also be equipped with new electronic warfare system, new high-speed communications and a new high-precision targeting system. The Su-30SM2 might take to the skies as early as 2021, with initial operating capability expected by 2025. Overall, the Su-30SM2 will match the performance of the Su-35S fighter aircraft's capabilities in several areas, allowing the SM2 to engage the F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters. Up next is the F-15EX Eagle II. This is an improved version of the twin-seat F-15C fighter jet of the U.S. Air Force. The F-15EX features all the latest technologies as well as the capacity to carry 22 AIM-9X Sidewinder and AMRAAM medium-range air-to-air missiles. Boeing claims the F-15EX can carry over 13 tons of weapons and fuel under its wings and fuselage, far more than any fighter in production now. Other enhancements, according to Air Force magazine, include a much more powerful mission computer, new cockpit displays, a digital backbone, and the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System. The U.S. Air Force expects 144 numbers of the F-15 EX jets after 2024. Up next is the Rafale F-4 generation. The French military ministry announced a $2.3 billion investment in the F-4 version of the Dassault Rafale in January 2019. The newest F-4 version will have next-generation technologies such as software-defined radio, new connections and satellite communications. Dassault is expected to adopt standard F-4 in two stages. The F-4.1 variant will have the first batch which will be delivered around 2024, with 28 aircraft already ordered, followed by the F-4.2 version, which will be delivered by 2030. The Rafale F-4 will come with improvements in the RBE-2 AESA radar. Apart from that, there will be future upgrades of the French Scalp EG Stealthy Subsonic Cruise Missile, ASMPA Nuclear Missile, Mica NG Air to Air Missile, and a 1000 kg version of the AASM Precision Guided Weapon. Up next is the JAS 39 EF Gripen. The first Brazilian F-39E Gripen flight took place on 26 August 2019 from Saab's factory airfield in Sweden. On 24 September 2020, it took off the Embraer unit in Sao Paulo State to start the test program for flight control systems, weapon integration, communication systems, and others. The deliveries of F-39E operational fighters will begin in 2021, but the F-39F will be delivered in 2023, according to SAP Executive Eddy. These next-generation Gripen delivers enhanced flight handling, aerodynamics, performance, and endurance. 
They will be powered with General Electric F414G engine. Also, they will be equipped with new avionics and advanced radar. Up next is the FA-18EF Block 3. The U.S. Navy's Block 3 Super Hornet is a development of the Super Hornet aircraft that will allow it to operate alongside the F-35C stealth fighter far into the 2030s. The Block 3 will incorporate advanced Super Hornet's characteristics, such as conformal fuel tanks and network sentry capabilities. The Block 3 aircraft will have a 9,000-hour airframe, enhanced stealth coating with reduced radar cross-section, an inner fuel tank-mounted infrared search and track, and a high-speed communication connection. The new aircraft may be powered by more powerful engines and other technological improvements. Up next is the Eurofighter ECR. By 2026, the first Eurofighter ECR capability is scheduled to be ready. The Eurofighter ECR will be able to provide passive amateur location, as well as active threat jamming, as well as a range of modular configurations for electronic assault and opponent air defense suppression. This will be a two-seater with specialized electronic warfare and mission control displays for the mission expert. The Typhoon ECR would be configured with two escort jammer pods under the wings and two emitter location systems at the wingtips. In addition to three drop tanks, the armament arrangement would be equipped with four MBDA meteors, two IRIS-T and six Bear EW. And lastly, we have the F-16 CD Block 7072. A large number of variants of the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon have been produced by General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, and various licensed manufacturers. The latest and most sophisticated F-16 production variant, the F-16 Block 7072, combines capabilities and structural enhancements to produce the most advanced F-16 production aircraft yet produced. The twin-seat aircraft will be equipped with the ANAPG-83 Sabre AESA radar. Block 70 may be powered with a single F110GE129 engine, while the Block 72 may be powered with a single F100PW229 engine. This new generation F16 will feature a 12,000 flight hour service life. And with that, we've come to the end of our video, but don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell for more videos from the bus. Thank you guys for viewing in, we'll see you next time, bye-bye.